You're here to protest murder, which is the sixth commandment, but you'll gladly violate the second commandment. Well, I've got news for you. The second commandment is second for a reason. It's more important than the sixth commandment. And the anger that God feels against abortion, he feels that same anger against you when you pray your idolatrous rosaries, when you bow down to statues of Mary's, with your kneeling pads at the Catholic Church, when you pray to the saints, when you ask for their intercessions, when you bow down to the statues, when you pray your rosaries, you are invoking the Lord to wrath and his face is against you. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil. The rosary is evil in the sight of the Lord. It is an abomination to God and God does not hear the prayer of sinners. Your iniquities have separated you from your God so that he will not hear. If any man turns his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer is an abomination. Your Catholic prayers are an abomination to God. God does not listen to the prayers of Catholics. Your praying to Mary, your praying to Jesus through Mary is an abomination to God. You're asking Mary to intercede so that you can help end abortion. God is not hearing those prayers. God doesn't care about your prayers. His ears are deaf to those abominations that you call prayers. God is going to hold you accountable for your sins. God is going to judge you for your sins. God is going to cast you into the lake of fire for your idolatry. You must repent. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Those who murder their own children are going to perish. They're going to die. They're going to be judged by God. Those who support abortion are going to be cast into the lake of fire. Those who murder their own children and pass legislation that allows others to do so are going to be judged by God and cast into hell forever. And you who pray your rosaries, who pray in an idolatrous manner, who worship other gods besides Jesus Christ, who bow down to the host of heaven, you too will be judged in like manner. You too will be cast into the lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. You will not escape the judgment of God. You are just as evil as they are. You are just as wicked as the mothers who murder their own children with your rosaries and your abominations to God and your graven images. The graven images inside the Catholic Church are evil in the sight of God. God is going to judge you for your rosaries. He's going to judge you for your idolatrous practices. He's going to hold every single one of you accountable for the sins that you have committed. You have disrespected God. You have disrespected the temple of God. And God is going to judge all Catholics and cast them into the lake that burns in hell forever and ever. You are just as bad as the Democrats who murder their children, you Catholics. You Catholics who pray your rosaries, you are committing an abomination to God. If the first, com the, first the, the greatest commandment is not to love your neighbor as yourself, that's second. The greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God. That statue is an abomination to the Lord. God will judge you for that wicked statue. God says that his greatest commandment is to love the Lord with all your heart. To love your neighbor as your second. God is going to judge all who murder their children. In his sight you are evil. Turn, you Catholic, turn from your evil ways. Stop leading these children to hell. You shut the gates of heaven in men's faces. You travel land and sea to win one conflict. And when you do, you make him twice as much a son of hell as you. You're leading these children to hell. You Catholic priests are wicked in the sight of the Lord. You are causing the little ones to stumble. You are harming them. You are committing sexual immorality against them, some of you. And they cover up your scandalous actions, your scandalous deeds, your wicked deeds, and you teach 
kids to do likewise. You teach your children to bow down to graven images. Yes, I do. And all these Catholics are going there. Yes, I do believe in heaven. But I don't worship people who die like you do because you're a wicked Catholic. Turn every one of you Catholic from this evil way. Why should you die? Why should you perish in the Lord's wrath? In the fury of the Lord, the Catholic Church has lied to you. You need to read your Bible for yourself so you can know about their deception. So you can know how they've lied to you. God is going to judge all Catholics and cast them into the lake of fire. You Catholics worship a false Jesus. You don't know Jesus Christ. You don't have a relationship with the living God. You don't know the real God. The real God hates idolatry. The real Jesus Christ does not have a relationship with his mother on the cross. He said, Behold your brother and mother, because Jesus Christ severed his relationship with Mary when he left this earth. She's not the mother of God. She's not your mother. She's not your heavenly mother. You are worshiping the queen of heaven, which is actually a demon. Did you know that the queen of heaven is mentioned in the Bible? As a demon, not as someone you should be bowing down to and making raisin cakes to. God is going to judge you. Turn every one of you Catholic from his wicked ways. Repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That is an abomination to the Lord. That is a graven image. Yeah, Catholicism leads to hell. You are evil in the sight of the Lord. You are wicked in the sight of the Lord. God is going to judge you in hell forever, you wicked Catholic. You follow a false religion that's leading you to hell. Turn from your sins, Catholics. You're on your way to hell. You're on your way to hell. You're on your way to hell. Every single one of you is going to burn forever. You're a wicked woman. Jesus Christ can set you free from this delusion. Jesus Christ wants to shine his light on the delusion of the Catholic Church. You're on your way to hell too then. You need to repent. What does it what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? What does it profit you if you save a child from dying but you spend eternity in hell? Is it really worth it? Your good deeds are not gonna save you. You are not well Yeah, this is the time for righteousness because you don't even you don't even support life. You pass legislation that makes it illegal to prosecute a woman who kills her own children. So you're not even righteous in that sense. You're not even supporting life. The, the, the people who organize this march are not pro-life. They're lying to you. They're deceiving you. And they oppose any legislation that is truly pro-life. You need to look at the letter that they wrote. They are against any legislation that seeks any punitive damage to women who murder their children. You are going to burn in hell with your Catholic. All Catholics burn in hell. You're following a false religion. You're following a false religion. Jesus would not start such an abomination. With all your wicked abominations, you really think Jesus Christ would have started that? You really think Jesus Christ would have started a Catholic church that's evil in the sight of God? That's wickedness. God is going to judge you for your idolatry, for your pagan practices. The Catholic church is the church of the devil. And you guys are following Satan's plan. You're following the plan of Satan. He's the head of the Catholic Church. The devil is the head of the Catholic Church, not Jesus Christ. Your rosaries are an abomination. It's like there's nothing but Catholics in here. It's like the March of Lies, more so than the March of Life. You guys are on a March of Lies. The people who are lobbying your congressmen, they don't even support life, they're lying to you. They don't even support life, they support death. And they don't believe in justice, they don't believe in righteousness, they don't believe in holding women who murder accountable for their crimes. 
yeah, I'm gonna vote no, no problem. We're in agreement on that. But we also have to do other stuff too. It's not just about voting no. Jesus said, if you disobey one commandment, you're guilty of all. You yeah, have disobeyed the second commandment, therefore you're guilty of violating all the commandments, including the sixth commandment. God is going to judge all Catholics. Turn from your evil ways and live. Why should you die, O Catholic Church? God hates the Catholic Church. He has a fire kindled in his fury that he's going to pour on the Catholic Church. He is going to judge you for your idolatry. You are blessed today because you got to hear the truth that God can set you free from the delusion of the Catholic Church, from the lies of the devil that's leading you to hell. That's an abomination. I rebuke that. That's wicked. She's burning in hell right now and you're following her straight to hell because she is an idolater just like you. You are idolaters. You need to repent. Every single one of you needs to repent. You are wicked in the sight of the Lord. You are evil in the sight of Jesus Christ with your abominations and your rosaries. Repent and believe in Jesus Christ. Understand the true gospel that we're saved by grace through faith, not by works, lest anyone should boast. Not by works. The Catholic Church teaches a salvation by works, which is not what the Bible tells us plainly. God wants you to know Him. He wants to have a relationship with you. Yeah, it is what you say. You're wicked, and you need to repent of your idolatry and your evil. Turn away from the Catholic Church, woman. It's leading you to hell.